Good morning, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Dr. Lee Warren here with you, and we've got a little grab bag episode for you today. Several things we're going to talk about. I'm going to tell you about two songs, two books, two movies, and two thoughts for Tuesday. We don't have a Tuesdays for Tata episode today, but we got some random things we need to discuss. I think it'll brighten you, give you a little inspiration and some things to think about, some things to do with your family, some good stuff to read, and some good things to worship and listen to. And we're going to get after it in just a minute. But before we do that, I have one question for you. Hey, are you ready to change your life? If the answer is yes, there's only one rule. You have to change your mind first. And my friend, there's a place where the neuroscience of how your mind works smashes together with faith and everything starts to make sense. Are you ready to change your life? Well, this is the place, Self Brain Surgery School. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and this is where we go deep into how we're wired, take control of our thinking, and find real hope. This is where we learn to become healthier, feel better, and be happier. This is where we leave the past behind and transform our minds. This is... It's where we start today. Are you ready? This is your podcast. This is your place. This is your time, my friend. Let's get after it. All right, you ready to get after it? Here we go. First thing, a little housekeeping. Um, I've told you about recently about a couple of supplements that I'm using, Peak and Armra. There's links in the show notes if you want to check those out. They're really helpful for immunity and gut protection. And I also use Athletic Greens. That's not an affiliate, but I but I use them every day. It makes me feel good, gives me energy, gives me all the prebiotics, probiotics, vitamins, minerals, all the stuff that I need. So check that out if you want. But I heard from a listener who had some concerns about um, athletic greens in particular and also peak that contain a, a chemical substance called oxalates. And oxalates have been in some circles thought to per- perhaps be toxic to some people, especially people with kidney disease or tendency to form kidney stones. And I, I've researched that extensively. There's not a lot of concern about oxalates for most people. There's a book out there that says oxalates are a big problem for a lot of people, but that the science is pretty clear. Oxalates are not a big problem, but you should, it just brought up the point to me that if you're considering adding a supplement or a mineral or vitamin or changing your diet or starting an exercise program, you need to hear me say, you should always talk about it with your doctor, especially if you have any type of chronic health problem renal disease, cancer, if you're taking a lot of medications, before you add something, just talk to your doctor about it, okay? You can leave a message, go to your patient portal, send a message, tell them you want to take a supplement, and make sure it's okay for you in your particular health situation. Now, I've been using these products for a long time, especially Athletic Greens I've been using for years. I've never felt better. doesn't have any issues for me, but I've got normal kidney function, okay? And it appears from my research that oxalates are not even a problem for most people who do have kidney stones. There's just a particular type of renal failure that that's a relevant issue for. So check it out. If you have some kind of chronic health issue or you take a lot of medications or you're older, anytime really that you're considering a big change, talk to your doctor about it before you make a decision, before you add something, before you change something. And especially if you take something and you don't feel great, stop taking it. Okay, that's the best advice I can give you. Okay, let's. We just wanted to clear that up as we get into today's episode. I wanted to remind you: always talk to your doctor before you make any big changes in your healthcare. Okay. Okay, I told you this is kind of a random episode. I got two thoughts, two movies to talk about, two songs, and just two ideas, two things I want to give you some encouragement with. Um, the first one is somebody wrote in yesterday and asked if I could find a quote that I mentioned in an episode last week. It was actually Frontal Lobe Friday from last week, a quote from Frederick Beekner that they wanted me to help them find, and I found it for him and sent it back to him. And it kind of reminded me that I, when I've been releasing episodes almost every day, if you don't keep up, it can really, you can get behind and it can be hard to remember even what we talked about. And so for that reason, we are going to um, take a little break on the podcast in the next few days. Um, I have significantly upgraded the gear for the podcast. We're adding video. We're going to really try to expand the YouTube channel and find those people out there who want to see video content. And that would be a good time to remind you, if you're not following on YouTube, please go subscribe at Dr. Lee Warren the Dr. Lee Warren podcast channel on YouTube. Even if you don't watch on YouTube, it would help me to get more subscribers. You can you can really grow your, your channel on YouTube once you get to that 1,000 subscribers. And we need about 250 more subscribers to get to that level. And that's when YouTube really opens up as, an, as a 
powerful marketing tool for your podcast is when you get to that thousand subscriber listener level. So if you, if you, even if you don't listen on YouTube, go check it out at Dr. Lee Warren on YouTube and hit that subscribe button for me. That would really help. There's so many people around the world who use YouTube as their way to get to podcasts. And if, if you believe in this message, if you believe in the show and you want people to find it, we need to get to that thousand subscriber barrier. So if you help me do that by subscribing, that would be great. And I appreciate it. And we'll start there. So we want to grow the YouTube channel. And in order to do that, I had to add a camera and a switcher and a whole bunch of technology. And that's, that's one of the reasons we're doing some marketing on the podcast now. And all of that is to try to help us expand and grow into that next level. We've gotten to the 100,000 subscriber, 100,000 downloads a month listener level, which is really a huge barrier that's taken me all these years to get to. And I greatly appreciate your support. But to get to the next level beyond that, we've got to grow video. Okay. So there's going to be a few days where I'm adding in all this gear and testing it and getting it ready to go. And that's going to mean that I'm going to need to take a few days off from the podcast. So sometime later this week, you'll start seeing some releases of some older episodes, or there may even be a day or two where there's nothing coming out. And we're going to space out um, new stuff while I'm getting the new gear up and running. So you'll have a, a short little gap, a little sabbatical there while I'm doing, at least and I are working on some technical stuff behind the scenes and our son Josh is helping us develop this so that we can bring the podcast up to a different level of production to make it more video friendly for those folks like Beth Maxey who love YouTube and like to watch it on video. So we're going to be working on that and there'll be a few days where we're taking a little break. And then come in December in the first part of next year, we're going to go away from an everyday format. We're going to have a little bit more content for the paid subscribers and we're going to go to probably three days a week on the podcast and then the other days you'll either have no new episodes so you can catch up or, or have some longer episodes on the days that we release so that you can have days that uh, some episodes that take you more than one day to work through and journal and catch up on. And that's going to allow me then to begin in earnest writing the self brain surgery manuscript for the next book that I need to get done in the first quarter of 2024 if we want to have it published in 2025. So be praying about that. If you think this self brain surgery message and the smashing together of faith and neuroscience is helpful to you, then I got to write that book and I need your help and your prayer support to do that. And I'm going to have to step away from the daily podcast output production level to do that so don't worry we're going to have some great content we'll continue to have amazing guests we're going to have some longer episodes but it just won't be every single day so be ready for a short sabbatical then an upgraded studio for me so i can give you more uh, polished and video content and more uh, sort of more bang for your buck if you will if you're a paid subscriber you're going to get a little bit more special stuff from me Uh, and then we're going to have a less frequent but more um sort of in-depth content production schedule for you. So I think it'll be great. Now, I've got two ideas for you today. One is when I see people in my office, I hear a lot of desperate stories. People come to me, and I saw a person yesterday. He's been all over the place, seen a bunch of doctors, aren't getting the answers they need. They're really scared. They're highly concerned about their own health, and they need an answer. And then they come and they say things like, I'm really desperate. I need somebody to help me understand what's wrong with me. I need somebody to help me. And it reminded me of an email that I got. I went and found it this morning about three years ago, September of 2020, a listener named Rhonda McNeil. And shout out, Rhonda, if you're listening today. Rhonda sent me uh, just a random email because of a quote that she saw from Frederick Beekner that she thought I would appreciate. And I I love it when listeners do that, by the way. When we get all kinds of emails from you guys, just say, hey, I I saw this and thought it might help you. Or here's a song you might want to put on the show. Or here's a a writer you may not know about. And that's led to some great guests on the show. And we love hearing from you and appreciate that so much. That's one one of the reasons I love this community so much is that we're just connected. It's more than just a podcast to me. It's more than just a email to me. It's it's a family. It's a worldwide community. And so Rhonda sent me this about Frederick Beekner, and I thought of that this morning because of the email from another listener, Janet, that made me think about Frederick Beekner from last week. So here's a quote from Frederick Beekner about physicians, and here's what he said: "We go to physicians with whatever ails us." We take off what the nurse asks us to sit. We take off what the nurse asks us to and sit there until they appear. Who knows what the examination will reveal, but we try to prepare ourselves for the worst. It is not just our bodies that we are putting on the line, but maybe even our chance for survival. We are no longer in control of our future. 
but like children, can only wait for a grown-up to determine it. Stripped of our dignity and self-confidence no less than most of our clothes, we perhaps don't feel quite so vulnerable anywhere else on earth. When physicians finally step through the door and start checking us over, we hang not just on every word they speak, but on the look in their eyes and the tone of their voices for some clue to what they make of us. When they finally tell us we listen as though our lives depend on it, which quite possibly they do, if they know their business, in just the touch of their hand, there is healing. Several times in the Gospels, Jesus indirectly refers to himself as a physician, like Matthew 9.12 and Luke 4.23. It is a richly touching and suggestive image. Here's the deal, friend. Here's the two thoughts for today. Frederick Bickner is exactly right. When you go to the physician, you're desperate. You, you, you need to know the help that can only come from outside of you, from the medical training and the experience that the doctor has. And sometimes it's, it's desperate, right? Is it cancer? Is it not cancer? Am I going to survive this? Am I going to have to have surgery? Can I finally get this pain under control? And the physician is there to help you. Well, Jesus refers to himself as the great physician, and he actually came and made a 33-year-long house call. And he's got an eternal, eternity-long practice of helping us solve our problems and find help and hope when we're hurting and the healing that we so desperately need. And if you're hurting, friend, there's a great physician. He's way better than Dr. Lee Warren. He's got the answers that you really need. And so today, I just thought I wanted to remind you that you can bring whatever's hurting. You can bring it to him. And he can help you, okay? And that's part of this prehab process. When we talk about how to get our brains under control, how to get our neuroscience working for us instead of against us, part of it is to remember what Chris Voss said, that when the pressure's on, we don't rise to the occasion. You don't suddenly become the most spiritual person in the room when you're under stress. You don't suddenly remember every word that's been written in Scripture. You don't suddenly become a super problem solver when you're under stress. You fall back to what you've prepared for, what you've built synapses around, what you've trained your brain to do when you're under pressure, what you've elevated your default mode network to respond with. And if you fill your brain up with scripture, with remembering what God's done in the past, with remembering the promises that you can move towards in the future, if you fill your brain up with that stuff, guess what that does? It gives you hope. It gives you an ability to understand that when you inevitably face trouble, you will have a strategy. You will have a treatment plan in place. That's why I wrote Hope is the First Dose, by the way. I wanted to give you the the elements of a treatment plan that you can fall back on. Since you can't rise to the occasion, you can fall back to this training and preparation and prehab and these self-brain surgery techniques so you can learn to get your thinking under control and train that default mode network to baseline prepare you not to fall as far, to elevate the floor on your suffering so that you can find the purpose in it and begin to move forward. Now, obviously, in the acute phase, when you're sitting in the doctor's office or the bleeding is still happening or the swelling is there, then it's not time for some detailed treatment plan. What I want to get to you is that the idea that when you first encounter trouble, you will fall to some level of preparation. And if you've prepared yourself with all of God's promises, with knowing who the physician is, with knowing where to turn, with knowing that he's done it before, then you won't fall as far. That's the thought that I have for you today. Thanks for Rhonda sending me that, for Janet sending me that, for for Frederick Beekner giving us those quotes. And I think it's so helpful to know that all throughout history, people have thought and given us ideas and given us previous scriptures and and just helped us, right? There's, There's a long string of help and hope in the past. That's that's how we build hope for the future. And there's a long eternity in front of us of knowing that this story that we're in, even though it's hurtful, even though it's harmful sometimes, even though it's difficult sometimes, this story ends with us winning as long as we are on the side and under the care of the great physician. Now, let me tell you about two books that I want you to know about. One is Because of Bethlehem, Love is Born, Hope is Here by Max Lucado. It came out a couple of years ago. Max wrote this incredible Christmas book about hope because of Bethlehem, because of the fact that Jesus came here to make this house call, that our great physician came down here and became one of us, and he understands what we've been through and what we're going through, and he has the answer for whatever may come along. That book, Because of Bethlehem, will give you some hope because Jesus came, okay? And the other one, this time of year especially, is a time when our brains bring us 
old hurts and old traumas and our default mode. We spend a lot of time in introspection and there's holidays, especially if you've been through some massive thing or you've lost somebody, you've lost a child, you've been through a divorce, you've had some big hard thing happen. Holidays inevitably can drudge up some of that stuff. And one of the things that we can find ourselves in is a spirit of unforgiveness or remembering things that we're holding against other people. And as much as we might want to think that our problems are always because of somebody else, sometimes our problem is because we haven't forgiven somebody else. Now understand, I'm not saying if you've been abused that you need to go back and remarry that person or go move back in with them. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you can learn to forgive in your heart, then you don't have to carry the burden of that anymore. You can give it to Jesus and let him heal it. doesn't mean that you trust that person anymore. It doesn't mean that you go back and allow yourself to be exposed to trouble again. But if you can get your heart right, then your life going forward won't be chained and bound by that thing that's happened in the past. Remember, we're in this new thing, November. God says, forget the former things. I've got something new for you. I'm going to make a way in the wilderness, a stream in the desert. He's got something in your future because it's new thing, November, and he wants you to have that year of the Lord's favor. And you can't do that if you're holding on and being buried under all the weights and problems from the past. So Timothy Keller wrote this incredible book, Forgive, Why Should I and How Can I? And I'm just, I'm just telling you, If there's something in your heart that you know you need to forgive someone for in the past, this book will help you. It really changed my mind about that. It's very helpful. It's not about going and repairing or restoring or moving back in or, or, you know, overlooking people's ongoing sin problems or trusting somebody when they've broken your trust. It's not about that. It's about learning how to get your heart and your mind right so you can move forward in your life. Even if there's brokenness in your past, Forgive, Why Should I, and How Can I by Timothy Keller. I put the links in the show notes to both of these books from Max and from Timothy Keller. And now I want to tell you about two movies, okay? Our friends Tommy Walker uh, and the Tommy Walker Ministries team have released a 30-minute long book. Book of John in Song for Kids video. It looks like a VeggieTales movie almost, except it's animated stories from the Book of John around Tommy's great album, The Book of John in Song, and it's incredible. It would be a great way for you to spend some time with your kids or grandkids. It would be a great thing to share with young ones or young families or young parents in your life. And if you want to give some encouragement that points kids towards the Word and helps them really see who Jesus is, Tommy and Brian and Carlos and the team have done an incredible job at of course, as everything with Tommy Walker Ministries does, it's free. It's on their website. It's on YouTube. And it's about 30 minutes long. So if you're spending some time over the holidays with your kids or grandkids and there's a quiet moment when you normally would pop in a Disney movie or something like that, show them something from the Word instead. The Book of John and Song for Kids, tremendous, incredible musical versions of the songs that Tommy's written, incredible animation, incredible narration. Brian Taylor, the drummer from Tommy Walker's band, plays, uh, just does an incredible job. And it's just beautiful. They've done an incredible job. So check it out. Tommy Walker Ministries, The Book of John and Songs. It's their first full-length animated adventure, and it takes the characters, Teddy and Wendy, through different lands, teaching children and adults alike the different aspects of who Jesus is while pausing to sing and worship with songs written from Scripture, the Book of John, and Song for Kids by Tommy Walker Ministries. I'm telling you, friend, it is an incredible project, and you'll enjoy it. Even if you don't have kids, you'll enjoy it anyway. It's a great, inspirational, uplifting way to look at the book of John in song. And then from Max Lucado's team, I'm very excited to announce this. Max's book, Because of Bethlehem, Because of Bethlehem, Love is Born, Hope is Here, has been turned into a feature movie, and it's going to be in theaters near you. There's going to be, I think it's over 1,500 theaters so far that have confirmed that they're going to show this film December 5th, 6th, and 7th. So that's just next week. They're going to be these this movie in theaters, and it's Max and a bunch of amazing musical artists. People like C.C. Winans, Matthew West, Matt Mayer, Ann Wilson, Evan Kraft, they're featured in this movie because of Bethlehem. It's going to air again December 5, 6, and 7 as a Fathom event in movie theaters with Max hosting. And the movie, which is inspired by the book Because of Bethlehem, shows how the Bethlehem story, with all its fumbles, awkwardness, and longing, illustrates how God is with us in ways we could never imagine. I'm tying this together. A great physician is our Lord and Savior Jesus. And this time of year, everybody's focused on him, even people who don't really believe or talk about it. They're talking about Jesus, and they're thinking about Jesus. So what a better time for you to invite a friend to go see Because of Bethlehem. 
love and hope. It's just incredible. Love is born and hope is here. And Max has done an incredible job. And I'm telling you, just as a special gift to the Dr. Lee Warren podcast, Max's publicity team reached out yesterday and they're offering five copies of Max's book, Because of Bethlehem, Love is Born, Hope is Here. Five copies for Dr. Lee Warren podcast listeners. So if you want one of those books, send me an email, lee at drleewarren.com, lee at drleewarren.com. Please send your name and your mailing address, including your zip code. I don't have time and I won't be able to write you back and ask you for the address if you forget. So if you want to be considered for one of five copies of Max's book, Because of Bethlehem, graciously being given to us for free by the publicity team behind the movie, then send me your name and your mailing address, please. We don't have any digital copies or audio copies. We have five physical copies of the book to give away, and they will be given. We're going to randomly select tomorrow, so 24 hours from now when you hear this, we're going to have 24 hours to get all the names in, and then we'll randomly select five winners because of Bethlehem, five copies, but I've got to have your mailing address and your zip code. i got... About 20 emails. Last time we gave a book away, I got about 20 emails that said, hey, I'd love to have a book. The end. I don't have a mailing address. Or several people sent their mailing address without the zip code. So guess what? I've either got to take the time to reply to your email, which I don't have time to do because I'm operating today, or you just don't get a book. So if you, if, you, if you want a book, please just be careful and send me your name your mailing address, and your zip code. And five of you, five listeners, will get a book because of Bethlehem from Max Lucado and his incredible publicity team and the great folks behind this movie. And we're so excited about that. So there's two thoughts. There's two books. There's two movies. There's a little announcement about supplements and talking to your doctor. And I just have one more thing for you, my friend. Just one more thing. I'm going to give you two songs, too, as a bonus. So I want you to have some prehab. I want you to have some good stuff in your heart. So since we're talking about Tommy Walker's movie, I'm going to give you two Tommy Walker songs to go out with today. It's going to give you a little prehab in your heart. The first one is Tommy's probably most famous song, He Knows My Name. Most people who don't really know who Tommy Walker is, that's the one song they probably have heard because it was probably his most famous and most widely published song, I would, I would guess. I'm not sure about that. But He Knows My Name. I want you to know that when you're struggling, when you're hurting, there is a physician who knows your name. He's familiar with your chart. He's made the right diagnosis. He knows why you're hurting, and he knows how to help you. And He Knows My Name is one of my favorite Tommy Walker songs, one of my all-time favorite worship songs. And it's, it's just a song that Tommy did on his new album for his donors. He gives he does an album most years for the donors, the people who support Tommy Walker Ministries, and, and it's given as a download, and you can't get it anywhere else for a while. And so he recently released the vocal sessions. He's just playing one guitar and his voice, and it's incredible. And if you choose to go to Tommy Walker's ministry website, TommyWalkerMinistries.org, and become a donor of any size donation to help him spread this word of worshiping and all the resources that he gives to worship leaders around the world, then you could receive all these gifts as well from Tommy's ministry that we get access to. And he's okay with me sharing this one song from his new album with you, just so you can get a taste and some prehab for your heart today. He Knows My Name by Tommy Walker. And then we're going to finish the episode with another Tommy Walker song. And this one is from the album, The Book of John. Since I'm telling you about The Book of John for kids, I want you to know that the regular album too is out there and it's available for free on Tommy Walker's website as well and on Spotify and everywhere. But the song Water Into Wine is a great reminder that our Jesus can look at something that seems impossible to you and he can change it. He can turn water into wine. He can turn, make streams in the desert. He can open up a way where there is no way. He can bring water from the rock or honey from the stone. He can do miracles that you can't even imagine. And if your life is in trouble, if you're having some problems, he can turn water into wine. And so I'm going to give you these two songs to go out with today just as a way to kind of get your mind and your heart understanding that there really is hope because of Bethlehem, because the great physician made a house call. And I know that's a whole bunch of random stuff for you today, but I want you to check out Tommy Walker Ministries. I want you to check out Max's movie, and I hope that it'll be helpful to you, and I think it will. I, I just believe that this that the Lord is up to something. Our society seems like it's in so much turmoil, but the Lord is bringing the message. He's bringing people back to Him. Don't forget that He's promised us His kingdom will not fall, okay? You're on the right side. If you get your brain chemistry and your thinking under control, you can break through and become happier become healthier and feel better too because he knows your name. 
because he can turn water into wine. You don't have to despair. The great physician's on the case. He's going to take good care of you. We'll talk to you tomorrow, my friend. I just don't want you to forget that you can't change your life until you change your mind. And the good news is you can start today.
Hey, thanks for listening. The Dr. Lee Warren Podcast is brought to you by my brand new book, Hope is the First Dose. It's a treatment plan for recovering from trauma, tragedy, and other massive things. It's available everywhere books are sold, and I narrated the audio books. Hey, the theme music for the show is Get Up by my friend Tommy Walker, available for free at TommyWalkerMinistries.org. They are supplying worship resources for worshipers all over the world to worship the Most High God. And if you're interested in learning more, check out TommyWalkerMinistries.org. If you need prayer, go to the prayer wall at WLeeWarrenMD.com slash prayer, WLeeWarrenMD.com slash prayer, and go to my website and sign up for the newsletter, Self Brain Surgery, every Sunday since 2014, helping people in all 50 states and 60 plus countries around the world. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. And I'll talk to you soon. Remember, friend, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And the good news is you can start today.